Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. Hope you're doing well. Today, I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead, like this video, and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Five of pentacles, five of wands. Two fives next to each other, 78 cards in the tarot. What are the odds of that slim to none? Now, what are these cards meaning? This is a synchronicity. Your angels are like, this is a very important message. What they want is for you not to put pressure on yourself because this is causing a money block. For example, you're telling yourself, oh man, I will never get that promotion or I should have been rich by now or how am I possibly going to buy that dream house? You know, time is running out. That is unnecessary. You got to understand that your mind is always eavesdropping on everything you have to say, right? Every single thought, every single opinion, every single reaction. So when you're hard on yourself, imagine this. Imagine you have a child in the house and the child can read minds. Now imagine if you go into the house and you're like, my bills, my worries, my problems. The child picks up on that. It's going to scar that kid, right? Now, same thing with yourself. Your inner child, your higher self, your soul, everyone can feel every single thought that you have. So when you're telling yourself, oh my goodness, I am so worried what does that do? You release cortisol adrenaline in your body. Not only does it tax and age you, but actually pushes the genetic buttons of disease. That's a very dangerous chemical cocktail. You don't have the luxury of doing this. So what do you have to do? You have to change your perception. Rather than time is running out, you have to look at it from the perspective that it truly is. Everything happens for a reason, divine timing. Why are you where you are you in your life? Is there anything wrong? No, it's not. Why are you there? You are there to collect data. The moment you tell yourself, whatever happened in the past was for me to learn lessons from, was for me to be like, I see, I should have done this. I would do this different. I would do this the same. Understood, moving on. The moment you're like, understood, spirit, moving on, that's when energy is released. You're no longer holding on to that tension. Ah, it's a lesson. You learned it. Moving on. Boom. It's like you went to school, you paid, you learned education, and you got moved on. Whether you paid with money, paid with time, paid with anything, love, frequency, doesn't matter. It's all going to get cleared. This is when things change for you. And right now, freedom, right? This is the choice. You got that higher fat energy. Spirit is telling you right now you're going to feel free, liberated. You're back to your genuine, authentic self. Everything will start getting effortless for you rather than efforted. And this is when you are shining. And this is when you get back to who you truly are. So at the end of the day, your angels and guys want you to focus on what you do have, not what you don't have. And let spirit be your guide, which is show you what to do through feelings and instincts. Now, very interesting, you got the two uh, cups and the ace of cups. So right now, when you're not resisting money, you're not resisting love. What is your angels telling you? This is the time right now to quantum entangle with what it is you're looking for. And you do that by conquering yourself and then you will conquer the world now right now there is someone that wants to enter your life might be a kindred spirit a soulmate even a business partner two of cups could be either or this person is very good for you because they're going to mentor guide teach you now you're going to do the same for them this person is someone who has a lot of experience they know what they want and what they don't want more importantly and they're going to bring that energy to the table now you are someone who's very spiritual intuitive an empath just like myself you are someone that's going to teach and guide them and show them hey there's more to life than you know making money or there's more to life to than than you know just be ambition right this is what my wife taught me when I I first met her, I had that King of Wands energy. Don't take no for an answer. I taught her how to do business, be fearless, be bold, and not wait for anything. Just go get it. It's right there. It's so simple, right? It's fun too. Now, she taught me how to be intuitive. She told me what the law of attraction was. It was 14 years ago. I thought it was a Disney movie. I laughed so hard when she said law of attraction. I thought it was like Bambi. I looked into it. It's quantum physics, guys. This is literally quantum entanglement, frequency, vibration, energy. This stuff is 100% real. You know when you watch TV, you know why you're watching that channel? Because you click on a frequency. Channel number one, boom, this is the frequency, 99.1. Channel number two, frequency 99.2. Now your thoughts are the same way. Negative thought, you could click off of it and put it onto a positive thought. This is what the law of attraction is. It's, just, it's literally science. This is not hocus pocus. Now source is telling you that you're clicking on a channel that the frequency is low. This is completely normal. Everyone does this, but you got to understand that this is why you're having trouble struggling. You got to click off of that frequency. This is not going to work. So how do you click off the frequency? Change your thoughts. What I like to do is to do the exact opposite of what, what my enemy wants, Art of War Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu says, basically, if your enemy wants you to be upset, be happy. If your enemy wants you to be, be scared, be, act like you are not surprised. So for example, imagine right now, 
I'm going for a walk. All of a sudden, I have a thought of my bills, my worries, my problems, I'm going to go broke. Now, because I thought that thought, that's what my enemy wants, my ego at the time, all I have to do is the opposite. So I'll be like, oh, there you go. Okay, you're trying to scare me. What did you say? I'm going to be broke. All right, now I'm going to visualize myself rich on a yacht in San Tropez, drinking champagne. People wanting to work with me. People want to mentor me because I'm coachable and likable because everyone likes to be around my energy. I'm going to win some tickets and I'm going to go to this place. And that's what I, that's how I sun my ego. My ego after that's like, I am not coming to Vince again with any more nonsense because Vince is like, your ego is a bully. It only tries to fight people or bring attention or awareness to things that it thinks he can win but if you stand up to your to a bully it runs for the hills like it doesn't want to pick a fight it can't win and this way this is how you tame your ego now very interesting you got the fool here and the eight of pentacles so right now your angels are telling you that to walk towards a investment opportunity that is going to be presented to you because this is going to be very abundant. This is you monetizing a passion, making money from something you love. And this opportunity is coming soon. Uh, right now, by responding with reason, not emotion, and finding strength and simplicity, you're telling spirit you are ready. So, for example, strength in simplicity. What does that really mean? Making your life simple. In order for you to get a promotion at work, in order for you to meet your soulmate, in order for you to do all these other things that are new responsibilities, you first and foremost have to be able to handle your own own responsibilities. Like for example, if you could barely wake up early, clean the house and get to work on time, how are you supposed to be able to deal with a soulmate? Think about that. It's legitimate, right? For example, if you are barely able to, you know, uh, stay nice and clean and hygiene and, and making sure that you, your house is clean and making sure you're doing these things, then how are you supposed to be able to get a promotion at work that requires more responsibility? This is all legitimate stuff. This isn't like, you know, asking for much here. So source is letting you know, when you master yourself, conquer your world, you're able to conquer everything else. And I do see here right now with that, um, seven of wands and the moon there's a unsustainable energy here that your your angels want you to walk away from this unsustainable energy is something that's not paying dividends and right now you got to let go of this energy because you can't control it so for example maybe it's a relationship where the love's not reciprocated maybe right now your angels and guys are having that tell you to have that conversation with your spouse say i didn't sign up for this let's get back to who we are maybe right now the energy you got to walk away from is limiting beliefs staying up too late you know habits that aren't helping you something but source is telling you there is something that when you close a chapter on you will open a chapter you know what the chapter is you got to close deep down in your soul you know it because it's something that doesn't feel good right maybe you have a business you keep pouring money into it it's not working you got to change the strategy but you're like i don't want to change it. i'm too scared something has to change but right now by doing so your angels are telling you that you will feel a new profound sense of confidence the emperor energy everything will change and now you will strive for progress and not perfection and when you're striving for progress you are fearless and bold because you're not telling yourself i'm going to lose money i'm going to lose time instead you're telling yourself i'm going to learn what to do what not to do i'm going to learn as i go and then i'm going to collect data and that right there is no pressure and that's exactly how you use kindness and act with purpose to get what you are looking for all right sad now final not final right now time for your affirmation write your affirmation in the comment section if you want to get rich and meet your soulmate if you want to do this the easiest way, thing you have to do is quantum entangle with abundance and you do that by becoming the cause and effect you're like spirit look i command assume expect abundance spirit's like done well done sad you know how to use the law of attraction let me hook you up. So right now, all you have to do is write your affirmation in the comment section. So your affirmation is, my life is an experiment. I embrace the exploration. Tell me that's not a synchronicity letting you know that you're in love with the progress and not perfection. Write this down right now in the comment section. My life is an experiment. I embrace the exploration. Write this down in the comment section and let spirit know you are 100% ready for your birthright, which is the higher outcome. All right, now final message from your spirit guides. Final message is change is always good. Yes, it is. Actually, the only effective way to change another person is by changing yourself works every single time. This is so true. If you want someone to do something, you cannot tell them to do it. You have to do it first. Lead by example, and then you will do it. Imagine you have a spouse. Every single night, you make a healthy meal, but they like, you know, junk food. Now, if you eat the healthy meals, you make a physical difference. You're like, whoa, look at me go. I, learned, I lowered my body fat. I got more energy. That person sees it. They're not stupid. They're going to want to join the winning team. They're going to be like, whoa, Sag, what are you doing? I want to look like you. Let me, let me do that. So 
right now, shining, leading by example is all you have to do. If you tell that person to eat healthy, it's going to go one ear out the other. If you actually want results, do whatever it is that you're trying to teach others, preach about, do it yourself. Don't tell them to do it at all. If anything, keep it a secret, right? Have them come to you and then slightly feed drip them slowly, little bits of wisdom to keep them engaged. And that is how you attract their attention. All right, Sag, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I appreciate you. Till next time, chat soon.